Where is it? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Um, I apologize for that little thing at the front. Um, something's going on with YouTube, so I hope you all can see me. I believe, I guess you're on Facebook, the ones I see on on on, on screen right here. But, um, you know, we'll get it together sooner or later. Amen. So I thank God for today. I thank God for life, health, and strength. I thank God for just being with us throughout the day and I feel good today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you feel good as well. Amen. We're going to move forward in the name of the Lord. We want to remember those in prayer. Amen. As we go for um, Brother T uh, Teddy, uh, Teddy and the Stoffler family. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Teddy is Karen Stoffler's brother. He's in the hospital. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Uh, they're having a hard time find, trying to figure out what's going on. We're just going to pray God's mercy, amen, God's grace on that situation, amen. God knows, amen. And then, and we know that there's nothing that's too hard for him, amen. So God can work it out, amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we're trusting him for that, amen. If there's any other requests, make it known. We want to remember our Brother Julius and his um, wife in prayer, amen, his family in prayer, amen. Thank you, Jesus. My sister-in-law, Kimberly. My brother-in-law, Gary, amen. Hallelujah, my sister, Veronica, amen. All my family, amen. The nephews and nieces and everywhere, amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God, amen, that God still answers prayer and that we can go to God, amen. We can go to God in prayer, amen. I remember singing that song. It just came to my mind. I can go to God in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I, when I used to sing in a choir at Greater Bethany, amen, years and years ago, amen. God hasn't changed, amen. He's still the same. Thank you, Jesus. He changes not, amen. So if you have a prayer request, hey, make it known. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to trust God for it, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Remember the folks in, in um, uh, Texas, amen. Sister Rose and her family, Sister Deloney and Brother De Deloney and their families, amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying that God's blessings upon his people. We also want to remember uh, Tony Gian and his his children, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying that God would just restore His people, Amen. Back to the family of God, back to the kingdom of God, in the name of Jesus, that He would grant repentance, Amen, unto life. All right. So I'm sure you know somebody, Amen, Amen. You know somebody. So as we pray, get that one in your mind that you need to pray for or you want to pray for. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for your kindness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your spirit, Lord God, which makes us wise unto salvation. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the hope of the gospel, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in our lives, Lord God. Hallelujah. 
Lord God, help us, Lord God, as we come forth into your word, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you would open up our minds and our hearts and our understanding concerning your word, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, have your way, Lord God, in the lives of your people, Lord God. You heard the names that were called out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, mighty blessing, Lord God, on your people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, those that be sick, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, for their healing, Lord God. Lord God, in their deliverance, Lord God, hallelujah. Those that are discouraged, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, that they will be encouraged, Lord God, by this message tonight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Open up your word to us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. Lord God, just we bless you, Lord God. Remember Brother Paul Williams, Lord God, and Sister Lydia um, Harris, Lord God. Hallelujah, my sister-in-law, Kimberly, Lord God, my brother-in-law, Gary, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the McKenzie family, Lord God, brother and sister McKenzie, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Sister Gracie, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Brother Julius, Lord God, and his family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we're praying, Lord God, for Jonathan Wooden, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You know, Lord God, all things, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, you would just have your way in the lives of your people, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you. Remember Pastor Donaldson in Mississippi, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Remember Rose, Lord God, and Vicky, Lord God, and Reggie, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless y'all, amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so tonight's lesson, uh, as you see here, we're talking about, we want to talk about Remind me, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. I need the Lord to, I need to be reminded, amen. How about you? Do you want to be reminded, amen? Do you wish to be reminded concerning the things of God? Well, let's get into this, all right? So our our text is coming from um, Peter, Second Peter chapter number one, all right? But we're going to um, read just a little bit here, amen. This is, you know, just the leading up to, the verses we're going to, we're going to look at. All right. So according as it, this is uh, second Peter chapter number one, verse number three, he says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Amen whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Amen. We want to be partakers of the divine nature. Amen. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. And he says here, um, and besides this, giving all diligence, Amen. Giving not just a little bit of diligence, but he said giving all diligence. Add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and unto patience, amen, godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you, and abound, that means to grow, amen, if they're in you and they grow, they make you that you shall neither be barren, amen, unfruitful or barren, uh, lazy or, 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 or useless, amen, or nor unfruitful, amen. So we don't want to be barren and we don't want to be unfruitful, amen, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right, so let me move up there. Let me see verse nine. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You 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 can't see what's down the line. Amen. Without these things working in your life, you can't see what's coming. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What's down the line? Some things is happening right so. So rapidly right in our face, amen. But there's other things that are down the line, amen. Thank you, Jesus. He says, you can't see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged 
from his old sins. Amen. So when you lose sight of the coming of Jesus, you will get caught up. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He says here, you are you uh, forgotten that you were purged from your old sins. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Some, some, some even pick up habits, pick up things that they were once delivered from. Now they're picking them up and doing those things again. He said, you have forgotten that you were purged from his old sins. Amen. Your old sins, my old sins. I was, I forgot. Amen. Thank you. That's why we have to be reminded. He says here, uh, wherefore the rather brethren, Give diligence, make your calling and election sure. Amen. You got to make it sure that's something you have to do. Be active in this, making your calling and election. God has elected you, hallelujah, to be in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You got to make that sure, your calling. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Hallelujah. If you do these things, you shall never fail. Hallelujah. For, uh, for an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wherefore, amen, look at this. Wherefore, I will not be negligent, hallelujah, to put you always in remembrance of these things. I will not be negligent. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, to put you in remembrance of these things. Though ye know them and be, sta be established in this present truth. Amen. I'm not going to let be negligent in reminding you. You know them. Amen. You know what's, what God is calling for. You know what he wants of you. Amen. Because you've been established in this present truth. Amen. But I'm, you, we all have to be reminded. Hallelujah. Of this fact. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So he goes on to say, um, verse 13, Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle, I'm in this body, as long as I am in this body, hallelujah, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. Again, verse 12, always in remembrance. Verse 13, uh, put you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off my tabernacle. This Peter, he knew that his, his, his departure from this life was close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord showed him, amen, knowing that shortly I must put off my tabernacle. That means this body. I must put it off. Amen. Paul says in, 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 in second, uh, uh, Corinthians chapter number five, hallelujah, about someone put that Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one and two in the comment section. Amen. You know, uh, he talks about this earthly tabernacle, though it be dissolved, we have another building. Amen. We have another building. Amen. This is not, for the saint of God, this is not the end. If we uh, uh, succumb to whatever illness or accident or whatever, and we depart this life, it's not the end for the saint of God. Hallelujah. There's more. Hallelujah. Promised to us. Hallelujah. That's afar off if you will. Amen. If I could use that term, hallelujah, that right now we see through a glass darkly. You know, Paul talked about also that eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we're on this journey, amen, and God is taking us somewhere. He says here in verse number 15, Hallelujah. Well, let me read 14 again. Knowing that shortly I must put off my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And then he says, uh, moreover, I will endeavor. Amen. I will endeavor. I will endeavor that you may be able after my decease to have these things always in Remembrance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I think about our late pastor. Amen. Bishop Swansea. Amen. He was constantly and always giving it to us. And, you know, I, in reading this verse, moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able after my decease. So we don't always know that, you know, when we're going to go. Amen. Sometimes I believe God gives a glimpse to some. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I remember uh, my dad, you know, 
uh, uh, before he passed, he was like, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. And within that week, he went home. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And others, you know, they seem to, to uh, their appearance, their physical appearance seems different. Amen. As if they're not even in that body anymore. Amen. That's how it was with my mom. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking, looking afar off, she would, you know, be just looking, gazing into the distance. Amen. We're right there, and she's gazing off somewhere. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. No, she didn't have Alzheimer's Alzheimer or, or dementia. She, that wasn't it. Um, the Lord, amen, she was baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, and she was looking at someone else. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord had her attention. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have this thing here. Amen. This hope. Amen. We have this hope. Amen. So he goes on to say, so first of all, before I move on, you see in verse 12, verse 13, and verse 15, this remembers. He's always, he's talking about being put in remembrance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In verse number 16, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming, amen, of our Lord Jesus Christ but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Amen. Hallelujah. Those Peter talking, amen, Peter, James, and John were taken up on, into a mount. Amen. You, we find that in, in uh, 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 Matthew 17. Amen. Also, I believe in Luke 9. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Where they, they, where they went up to the mount with the Lord Jesus. Amen. And he was transfigured before them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He said, we beheld. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father. Amen. I think I better hit this too. God the Father. Amen. I hear people saying God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Ghost. Where God the Son and God the Holy Ghost are not biblical terms. Amen. God the Father is a biblical term. We see it here in the text. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I understand, amen, there, um, I don't know, some may have the revelation of the Godhead, but some others don't, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is God, manifest in the flesh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So there's only one God. There's not three separate individuals, amen. There's one, amen. But anyway, um, he, for he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. And this voice, amen, which came from heaven, we heard. Amen. Peter was I, he was there. He said, We heard it. Amen. We heard. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We heard the voice. Speak out of heaven concerning the Lord Jesus. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And this voice, hallelujah, which came from heaven, we heard and we were with him in the holy mount. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We were there. We also, uh, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whereunto ye do well that you take heed, amen, we need to take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place unto the day dawn. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the day star arise in your hearts. Amen. Knowing that first, amen, knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You're not going to have your own private interpretation of what the text is saying. Amen. It's, it's not like that. Amen. What we learn, what we do when we interpret scripture, it has to also agree whatever we come up with, you know, through study. Amen. It has to agree, agree with the rest of the Bible. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's not going to be private. You're not going to have your own private understanding like, like a brother said, uh, I know what kind of fruit uh, 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 that Adam and Eve ate in the garden. Amen. The scripture doesn't say what kind of fruit. Amen. It doesn't say. There's no nowhere saying what kind of fruit it was. Amen. Uh, 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 some put up, 
you know, when they make drawings, they, they use an apple. Others say it's a pomegranate. Well, I don't know where you get that from. Amen. Hallelujah. The scripture, amen, is, uh, 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 he said, knowing that this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God, they spoke or spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The scripture says that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Thank you, Jesus. That means God breathed. Amen. So it's all inspired by God. Hallelujah. And these men, they spoke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy men of God. They spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get into this. All right. So we look in here at remember. Amen. Remind me. I need to be reminded. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we get so busy and caught up, we just get so busy. We just, every now and again, need to be reminded about things. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You even got on your phone, a little, little, little setting on your uh, app on your phone. Amen. On the special, I, I use iPhone. Uh, reminders, set reminders. Amen. Are we planning to do something, you know, well, I need, I need a reminder to remind me. I get a doctor's appointment. I need to be reminded. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the way things are. Amen. We need to be reminded. Amen. So it says here, um, remember, Zakar, to remember. Remembering can occur with either God or human beings as the subject. Amen. Such memory, amen, can trigger many different reactions in the Bible and in our own personal lives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. With, human be with humans as a subject, memory of certain things can bring about pain. Amen. You know, I remember, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it took a, a long time for me to get over the passing of my father. Amen. Years it took. Amen. To, 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 to really get over it, get to the point where I could smile about it now. It took years. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My oldest sister. It took years to get over. Amen. My mother. Amen. It took years to get over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we know some things we experience in our life that just pain. Amen. Just remembering something. Hallelujah. Brings about a pain deep down inside. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, and, and then as such, the exiles remembering that life was what it was like in Jerusalem, those who went into Babylonian captivity, those who went into Assyrian, amen, kept, you know, we know, because uh, hearing from them again, amen, look at uh, Psalm 137 and 1 and, and Lamentations we have in our text, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. All right, so uh, all these things happen, amen. So he says, or the, is, the escape of the Israelites remembering the good food that they ate in Egypt. Amen. Numbers, uh, Numbers 11 tw uh, and 5. They didn't want to trust God no more. They were tired of the quail and, and, the, and, the, and the manna eating that stuff all the time. They wanted some variety and they started referring back to what how it used to be, how they used to grub when they were in, in, in Egypt. Amen. What the grub was like. Amen. They had variety. It was like, like I, would, I would imagine like, well, you know, uh, what is smorgasbord, Borg, or, you know, just like, you know, you go to those places you guys like to go to all you can eat and you just get to pick, you know, go down the line and pick and choose what you want. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that's when they, when they mentioned that, um, these ones that were in the, in the, in the, um, in the wilderness, when they mentioned what they were able to eat in, in Egypt, amen. It was long, it was quite a few things, you know, Un but I thought about some of them, onion and leeks and garlic, you know. I don't know about eating garlic. I don't know. You know, I, I take it sometimes, but I don't know about eating it like an apple or something, you know. Um, <laughs> amen. Some do. Amen. He said, but yet remembering can also have positive results. Memory of God's law brings the psalmist comfort. Amen. Psalm 119 verse 52. And memory of God's greatness and past 
assistance help to quell fear in the hearts of the believer? You know, we have examples there. Uh, Nehemiah chapter number four, verse 14, and also uh, Psalm 77, verse 11. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In the New Testament, this word, amen, carries over. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so we have here um, these two Greek uh, verbs, amen, these two verbs share a common root, amen, thank you, Jesus, and often carry the simple meaning of remembering or recalling to mind, thank you, Jesus. This I recall to mind, remember that? Amen, that's Old Testament, but that's the idea, amen, thank you, Jesus. Remembering, however, is often more active and effective than the mere recollection of a certain data. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We, oh, yeah, I, re, I remember. I re, you know, it's more than that. Amen. More active and effective. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So he says here, remembering should affect one's life significantly. When you remember what God has done for you in your past, it should affect your, 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 your life significantly. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In terms of changing attitude. Amen. Just think about how the Lord forgave you for something in your past, something that was mighty. Hallelujah. Something that was great. Hallelujah. That was very disturbing in your life. Hallelujah. And the Lord forgave you of that thing. Hallelujah. Now we turn around and try to hold others accountable for things that they've done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So remembering, hallelujah, you need to remember it should, it will affect, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It will affect, hallelujah, or it should, hallelujah, affect one's life significantly. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In terms of changing attitude, you will, once you remember and start thinking back on hallelujah, how the Lord delivered you, where you were when he found you, what you were doing when he found you, hallelujah, how undone you were when he found you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All it takes is a moment to realize, hallelujah, think back. Hallelujah. Think back on your condition, the condition you were in. Hallelujah. When God saved you. Hallelujah. Even after you got saved, some got caught up in the things and we got caught up and the Lord came. He had to deliver us again. Hallelujah. And again and again and again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our attitude sometimes. Hallelujah. The Lord has to come in and fix our attitude. Hallelujah. Here we are holding, trying to hold somebody to the cold. Amen. Trying to hold them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You hold them accountable. Hallelujah. By force. Hallelujah. You will. You're going to do. Hallelujah. Who are we? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. For mercy. There's references there. John 2 and 22, John, and, and also verse uh, 12 and verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. And Ephesians 2, 11, hallelujah. Or taking some action, hallelujah. Revelations 2 and 5 and, and uh, uh, 3, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, help us. The New Testament authors frequently exhort believers to remember with prayer and and action, amen, Galatians 2 and 10, amen, 1 Thessalonians 1 and 3, Hebrews 13 and 3 and 7, belief and confession can follow remembering, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, belief and confession, hallelujah, believe in God, hallelujah, and confessing the things that you got wrong, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, or for confessing his lordship, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. His greatness, His glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When God remembers, there's always consequences. When God remembers, there are always consequences. Both merciful, hallelujah, and just. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When God does not remember, this is not forgetfulness, but a choice not to dwell upon or consider someone or something. God, hallelujah, he's merciful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's long-suffering. Hallelujah. So that means he's slow to anger. He's just in whatever he does. 
hallelujah, whatever he chooses to do in punishing us or what have you, he's just, but he does it always, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you. But I believe if you reject his salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, you have the wrath to look forward to, amen, in just a not too distant future, amen. Thank you, you, have, you will be turned over, hallelujah. And you have to deal with the wrath of God that happens for seven years upon this earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But moving on, he says, but a choice to dwell, hallelujah, not to dwell on or consider someone or something. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. We can praise him because he has chosen not to remember our sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God has chosen not to remember our sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you, have you just think back on where you were, the things that you committed, the things you did. Hallelujah. What kind of thing? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God, amen. We praise him because he has chosen not to remember. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Odom. I asked for that scripture and there it is. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5, 1, 2, and 3. Amen. I hope you guys got your Bible out. And when I call a scripture, you go and read it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I know it's a lot at once. Amen. But this is how you learn. Amen. This is how you build up your faith. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing the word of God, reading the word of God, studying the word of God, because it's when you're in that temptation, like we studied a couple of days ago, it's the Word of God that's going to get you out of that thing. It's the Word of God that's going to give you the victory. Hallelujah. We need the Word of God. It's the Word of God that we, we remember, hallelujah, what He has said to us through His Word, and that's what gives us hope. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So um, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25, He says, I, even I, am He that blotted out thy transgressions for mine own sake. You know, he does it not for us. He does it for his own sake. Amen. And will not remember thy sins. Amen. This is God talking. Amen. I he said, I, even I am he that blotted out, to blot out something. He blots it out. Our transgressions. Hallelujah. For my own sake. And will not remember Thank you, Jesus. Shamone Kasha, hallelujah. He would not remember our sins. My sins. I take this personal. He would not remember my sins. Hallelujah. I praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lamentation. Hallelujah. Now, I had went there earlier. Let's see if I could. Thank you, Jesus. If I go there, I want to be able to come back to this particular slide, so I won't move much. Thank you, Jesus. Let me. Thank you, Jesus. Where is it? Let me just do this. Uh, Lamentations 3. Thank you, Jesus. I thought it was in my history there. I go here to 20. But this word remembering coming up here several times. Verse 17. Let me see verse 15. He has filled me with bitterness. He's, he has made me drunken with wormwood. That's bitterness. Wormwood is bitterness. Hallelujah. He has also broken my teeth with gravel, stones. He has covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far from peace. I forgot prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. 
remembering my afflictions and my misery, the wormwood and the gall. And my soul hath them in remembrance. Amen. God, it's, it's all about remembering. Amen. Thank you. And is humbled in me. This I call to mind. Amen. This I call to mind. Therefore, I have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. All right, so that's what I have back here in the text. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I believe it right there. Yes, amen. This I call to mind. Therefore, I have hope. I, was, I, I went to the actual Bible to show you what's ahead of that, what's above those verses. Amen. A constant remembering. Amen. When you're out of the will, you remember things. Amen. God brings things to your remembrance. Amen. The book of Lamentations was written while they were in captivity. Hallelujah. Thank you. And they were, they were remembering all these things start flooding the mind, flooding the heart. Hallelujah. What it used to be when they were at peace in their homeland. What it used to be like. Hallelujah. But disobedience all the over and over again caused them to have to go into their enemy's land. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But, that, you know, so, so circumstances can sometimes bring you to a place where you start, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, have those moments of recall. Hallelujah. Have those moments where you're remembering what things used to be when, when, when you were walking at peace with your brothers and sisters. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, because of whatever this wickedness, whatever you got, in, got yourself into, now all that's gone. Amen. I'm praying that God causes you to remember again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're on this broadcast or if you're on the replay or, or, or this video has been shared with you, I'm praying for you that God would give you, hallelujah, recall to remember what he has done for you. Hallelujah. What it was like when we were all dwelling together in peace and unity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, God, he hasn't forgotten but he chooses not to uh, punish us the way we need to be punished. He says, this I recall, amen, to, uh, to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Amen. His compassion doesn't fail. Hallelujah. They are new every morning. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? New every morning. Every time I wake up, new mercies I see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe it wasn't well the night before, but I wake up in the morning, I, I wake up to new mercies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion. Hallelujah. Saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. I hope in him. Hallelujah. I haven't always done the right things, hallelujah, but there I hope in him, hallelujah. He is my portion, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope that this is, you're getting something from this lesson, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God, help us. Help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for your mercy. Hallelujah, it's of the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Remind me, Lord. Remind me, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you want to be reminded? Do you need to be reminded? Thank you, Sister Rose. But it is, but it is, hallelujah. But as it is, I have not seen ears, haven't heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared, hallelujah, for those that love him, hallelujah, hallelujah, or them that love him. It hasn't, we haven't. It's far beyond. It's far beyond, but I believe we need to be reminded of what God is doing, what he has started in us. Hallelujah. Reminded. Hallelujah. That, that would inspire us to do the right thing, not only in our own walk, but toward other people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Help us, help us Lord. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
I don't know if you're getting anything out of this lesson, but the Lord, hallelujah, he's kind, he's merciful, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, just help me to remember, hallelujah. Remind me, Lord. Remind me, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17, all scripture, yes, given by the opposite inspiration of God, and it's profitable for doctrine, teaching, for reproof, for correction. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we need to be reproved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then correction. When we do wrong, we got to be corrected. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For instruction in righteousness. Why? That the man of God, a woman, may be perfect. That means mature. Thank you, Jesus. Perfect means mature. Hallelujah. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly equipped. Thoroughly equi equipped unto all good works. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, have mercy on us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is trying to take us somewhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to live right right now. Hallelujah. You don't know when your last moment will be. You got to be right right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow's not promised to you. Bishop Richardson always says, Hallelujah. Today may be your very may be the very last time you see me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, I must be always right before the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, help us. Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I trust that you were able to get something from this lesson tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good. He is good. Amen. He's concerned about you and I. Hallelujah. So remind me. When I listen to your messages, it should be one to bring people to remembrance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, it's one of them. Amen. Remind me. We hear the doctrine over and over again. It's for, by repetition that we learn. Inculcate, amen, that's repetition, learning something to be instilled in, with the doctrine. Inculcated, we're, 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 we're instilled with the doctrine of Christ, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer, amen. I love y'all. See y'all, God bless. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, once again, Lord God, for allowing us another opportunity to have uh transversing your word, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that for all those listening, Lord God, I'm praying for their families, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that they be reminded, Lord, constantly, Lord God, of your grace and of your mercy, Lord God, and hallelujah, hallelujah. They be more forgiving, Lord God, toward one another, and we should be bearing one another's burdens, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, have your way, Lord God. Have mercy on us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, bless your people, Lord God, and remember the names that were called out at the beginning, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would just have your way in the lives of the people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, God bless y'all. God bless y'all. In Jesus' name, amen.